What's up you guys, my name is Chaos and today I am going to be talking about the first book of Esther. So in the beginning you just like, it tells you who the king is, which is Ahasuerus, that, that, that's how I say it in Spanish. And he reigned for like, he reigned over India all the way to Ethiopia and on, the, on his third year reigning he made a, he made um a feast and he invited all his princes and you know the important people and there were a lot of stuff there were beds made from gold and silver they were like you know where to put where you put the wine to serve it each of them were different from different types of marbles and they had gold in them everything was it was like super art artistic you know but back in the days you know and um and then he made another feast um, where he invited all all the people in his palace even the small ones even the people that were like their servants and they invited him for a feast and then the wife which was the queen Esther she made a feast for the girls and in, in the only the girls in, in the palace and then one time the king on the seventh day <clears throat> Cause, cause there were they made a the second feast lasted for seven days, and then it says on the seventh day when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Mechun blah, 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 then the seven chamberlains that serve in the presence of the to bring Chevy the king. So, so on the seventh day of the feast, because the feast lasted seven days, that he threw for all of his servants and all the people in the palace, and after Esther made her own feast. On the seventh day, he wanted everybody to look at his wife, how beautiful she was. But the queen was like, no, I'm not going. So that's what she told the serv the officers of the king. And then the king gets mad, you know, like, oh, he gets mad. And then one of the officers says that not only did she say, that not only did she cause trouble to the king, but she's going to put like a bad example for the whole entire world basically well their whole entire em empire they're gonna it's gonna set a bad example and women are gonna look at their are gonna despise their husbands so what what uh what's his name again so what Mamu can what he suggests to the king is to put away he's um to get rid of the queen and put a new one that will take her place and her authority and they made a law to all all the territories that he owned that the husband should be the ruler of the house that he should put forth the rules that he should be the ruler and not the woman and that was a law that was put and that's the first chapter of esther esther's a queen i think i'm pretty sure she's a queen and that's the first chapter of the queen <laughs> it's pretty dope um every chapter there's something to learn from in the bible that's that's what i've noticed and like they're valuable lessons but it's just that it, this book is this whole bible is full of these valuable lessons that's why when you read it on your own and you find how how huge it is you it's just one of the many things that there's in the bible that's why it's not it's not that huge for other people you know so yeah I'll, um tomorrow i'll try to do chapter two i'll try to read it three times and because this one i only read it twice uh but yeah i'm gonna read i want to try to read chapter two three times so i can give you guys a better summary and i'll see you guys in the next one take care you guys peace out